Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 93 of Direwolf20's server play series. Today, I'm going to continue what we've been working on. But someone wants to show me his room of circuits first. Look at it, room of circuits. These are most of the basic gates you'd find in like Red Power, Project Red. Okay. Trying to make an example case for people just being introduced to the mod. So these will be built into the mod, a lot of them. Oh, cool. And they could place them down. They'd already be they're act, uh, accessible and it's like okay what does this do well you have two inputs blue is input for everyone and orange is output okay anyone that has black that's logic so something's happening but that's not going to be io right right sense. that's cool you know so me that right thing, by the way. I'm gonna need can that. you name some of these what can you name any of these uh so let's see this looks like an rs nor latch right on the left right um, I just put Dyer on the spot here. It's perfect. What's that? <laughs> I put you on the spot here. It's like, hey, you didn't know you were being quizzed. I didn't. But that one on the left is an RS Nor latch. Um, okay. This one. So when that turns on, that turns off. Is that? I even want you to test the states if you want them. Okay. All right. So the first one was an RS Nor latch. I got that one. The second one. Yeah. Well, it's not. An exclusive or right, um, because is it an exclusive or? It is an exclusive. It or. is an exclusive <laughs> or. Okay, okay, cool. It was just, yeah, okay, yeah. It is exclusive. It or. looks a little weird. It looks like a monkey robot face. Yeah, but it is an exclusive or. Um, this one's obviously an or gate. Uh, no. It's an XOR gate. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a not OR gate. Right. No, it's an OR gate. Yeah. Yeah, it's an you OR gate, right? Just naming. It's an OR gate. Yeah. I was right. Yeah. Not OR gate. Right. Not OR gate, but yeah, pretty much. Um, so this one is a, so yeah, NOR gate, right? Yeah, NOR gate. Uh, yeah. so this one's, is it an, and gate it is and this one is an or gate yep and this one is a not gate <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> man i can't believe you got that one that, that I know. Mm. And this is a man <laughs> presumably yep. yep yep right um and this is a toggle latch i presume correct simple toggle and latch. we were joking because it's like do you really need that gate <laughs> <laughs> um this one is uh pulsar yes nice swarmer and there's three circuits at the top yeah so those ones are gonna take me a second so so this would just be a timer i presume kind of like a sequencer timer yes yeah sequencer sequencer timer this one would be well, that looks complex. So let's see, there's three I inputs. I don't know how to use this one offhand. I just know the wiring behind it. Okay. Some kind of sequencer timer that you can stop or something? I don't know. What is it? I have no idea. Multiplexer. Ah, uh, well, I've never used multiplexers really. I never, right. It's one yeah. of those that you can use if you want advanced stuff, but it's yeah. So is this a state cell? It is. Nice. It's so That's good. Cool. That's awesome. You should have seen the state cell. Dude, how did I do on my test? You did, uh, I'm going to say 95 with the weirdness of the XOR gate. But you're good. I like it. I, I did pretty good, right? You did pretty good. That was actually impressive. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So now Without it's time. Doing inputs or anything. It's time no, to Dandelifian some more. So I decided yeah, yeah, yeah. to map out where I want my mechanical users to be. So basically, here's how this is going to work. We're going to place blocks above the mechanical users. Oh, thanks. I need that. Um, then we're going to activate the Dandelifian. The Dandelifian will be allowed to run for X number of ticks. And then it'll stop. And then this will activate. It will be allowed to run for X more number of ticks. That many. And then it will place those guys and it'll be allowed to run for one more tick. And then it generates a whole bunch of mana. Is pretty much the plan. 
Does that sound cool? I like it. Right? Bring up the rain. I need I need the rain <laughs> to stop. Rain, please. I got it. Good. I got you. Good. I'm gonna need a faster mana spreader for this. Or an acceleration wand. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, it's perfectly safe and legit for everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Vasky would totally appreciate everything that we're doing right now. We did it with the high. I found out that the water plant still dies. Yeah. Yep. Whoops. Didn't know that one. So basically what I'm going to want to do now is the following. Let's put this dude away. I don't probably need you guys or you guys at the moment. Right? Uh, we are going to want you. So this is the red print. So I'm probably going to want this down here just to avoid the need to rotate this because I think that would add complexity to what we're trying to do here Soren I'm going to just place it in the same rotation that I originally That's had fine. it cool so that will be the rotation okay um, and then we will have a pulse coming in here that will activate this thing and then we can red print them down, right? So I just, do I shift right click to pick it up? Yes. Cool. And then shift right click to paste it, nice. And these will automatically connect to each other, I presume? Uh, the, in this sense, yes, they will, but not in every scenario. Uh, because they were connected before, they will. Okay. But bridging between circuits if they were standalone from each other, you would have to put them together in order to connect the bridges. Right. I'm just keeping an eye on this for a sec to see that it runs still in the way that it should. And it does look like it is, which is cool. Okay, nice. So now let's get some insulated. Okay, and we'll go with, um, we'll say, Red can be the initial place. Green can be the Dandelion. Brown can be the next place. And blue can be the last place. And you want to make this, you're going to make that black. All right, cool. Yeah. So this is going to be place block. This is going to be place block. Redstone pulse. Redstone pulse, up and out, up and out. Um, so red is the first place. This is the last place, so this is gonna be blue. And this is gonna be blue. And the dandelion we said was green. Okay. Um, <laughs> Goodbye, dirt. Right? I really need to make one of those sometime. I mean, you can use my stuff. I got so much IC2 info. Oh, we, I had the material for it. It was just lazy. Oh, it does reach. Nice. Thank you, range. So these will all be configured to place block on redstone pulse. These will be configured for up and out. So this is the first one, so that's the red. Up and out, up 
and out, up and out. Okay, and then you'll come along to here. This will be place block on redstone pulse, up and out, and that's brown. And then, is it getting dark? I can go sleep. Thanks, buddy. So that should be cool. So that's pretty much what we need to do. So that's the placement of the things. Now we just need to get the timing under control, right? So when we place them, we want to let it run for a while. So what I'm going to do is let it run for 10 seconds and see how that goes. Um, so for it to run for 10 seconds, this is the end of Pulsar. So that, if we hold shift, we can see it's five seconds. So I'll make it 10 seconds. Okay. And then it should pulse this one. It might need to be an extra half a second, depending on the rotation that it winds up in. Then we're going to let it run for, I don't know how long. So we're going to just test it by saying like four seconds. So that'll be eight iterations and we'll find out if that works. And then the rest should be easy peasy. So we'll see if this works. Um, so Soren, will you do me the honors of, I actually should probably make this a button, not a lever. I'm gonna push the lever when you're ready. I do. All right, buddy. Hit the button. Why nothing happened? Uh, it was a little slow. It didn't actually place the blocks. I know why didn't things happen. You know what I forgot to do? Did you generic clicks for all of them? No. Right click? No. Oh, on pulse. <laughs> no. I don't know how you set anything else. So I don't really, I can't really backtrack to what you did. I forgot to put actual cells inside the UI. <laughs> I'm a professional. I, is that what they call it nowadays? <laughs> I'm in the same boat with you. But I forgot to put right. items in. It didn't have any actual blocks to place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> Push the button again. I mean, it's not like you've done three episodes or anything. No. That would be a silly talk. What are you doing down there? Okay, that works too. Go ahead, push it. You want me to push it again? Yeah. So it should I'll be running at this point. Pulse, huh? What's funny is it's not running. Everything's working except the Dandelion running. So what did I do wrong there? That is green, and it is configured to be a strong signal. Uh, didn't not... we show that it didn't do that? What's that? Had that? Be direct. I switched I to strong. Hit the button again for me. Now we're talking. It need it needs to be a strong signal. Yeah. Strong sends through blocks. Right. All right, so I need to change a few timings here. My timings are a little bit off because I changed things and I didn't change other things. Um, so I made this be 200 ticks. So as a result, this should be more than 200 ticks, right? It should be, you know, let's say 211, right? Um, so 11 seconds, right? Um, so 11 seconds after, then you place the block. Then 10 ticks. This is 70. So I made this one 80. So let's make this one 90. For now, I'm going to make it a full second after. So this was 220. So this is 200, right? So a full second after is what I'm going to make it. So 80, 100, and then 10. 20. Okay. All right, do me a favor and hit the button again. So that runs, and then there's going to be like a second pause at some point. That's it. Okay. So that needs to be an extra half second off. 
so that's okay. That was what I was kind of testing right there. So we'll just let this run out. It'll burn itself out in a second. Okay. So there needs to be an extra half second delay on this pulsar. Which means that this one needs an extra half second delay. Okay. All right, push the button again, my good sir. You're lucky there's not a lever, otherwise I could be crunk right now. I know, that's why I made it a button. <laughs> Oh, the lever, crank. Crank the lever. <laughs> there we go. So now it plays that block. Everything's cool for a few seconds. So that needs to be a longer delay, like at least one tick longer. Um, I think is what I need. So if I made this 90 and then I made this 110. All right, one more time, my good sir. We get the timing right, and then we're in awesome shape. Yep. Because this will be super repeatable. As long as the timing is correct. So the the main thing to take away from that is it's an odd number of ticks, I believe, is that we care about. That was a little interesting. That was a little bit different, right? But now... Okay, for a minute you made a face, which I like, kind of liked. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that again. I want to see how, I want to count the iterations that I need to go on before I place those blocks. Ready? So when those blocks get placed, they get placed wrong. And we have to count the number of cycles that go through. One, two, three, four. Five. So I need five more cycles, so five more half seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. And this will be 170, we'll make it. So I'll be a second and a half delay, it's fine, right? All right, one more time with the button, my good sir. Once I get the timing right, then we'll be in much better shape. Yep. We also want this to be longer than it currently is, because we want them to be as long as possible at that last stage. So did you not do what you were supposed to do? You were Hello. late. I like the last two blocks there it just showed up. Maybe those blocks showing up messed up my timing. That's probably what happened. So let's do a second shorter. <laughs> I think those, okay, I think I know what happened. My, my timing was a little bit messed up because of the way things ran before. Let's just get this right. I want to know the time that needs to be between the placing of that block and then the placing of the next set of blocks. That's really what I care about at this point. How long we need to leave this on for. So that was again pretty short. 120. One ten. Let me tweak the timing a little bit, guys, because this might require some messing about. We'll be right back. 100 ticks was the right answer. Nice. So that should generate a bunch of mana just now. I love how it makes a face. I know. Isn't it cool? So 100 ticks was absolutely the right number. So 100 ticks nice. is what this awesome. delay has to be. So that needs to be 100 ticks. And this needs to be an odd number of ticks over here, right? So 100 ticks is five seconds, right? So there's a total of 60 cycles, right? 100 ticks is 10 cycles. So it's 10 cycles from the moment it places this down to the moment it's ready to do this, right? 
So working backwards, that's we have 50 cycles that we can go. Um, so let's do like 45 cycles, right? So that would be 900 ticks, right? So let's make it 900 ticks. So this should get me a lot of mana, right? So 900 ticks, that means this one needs to be like 900 We'll do 960, right? So I'm actually going to make this 910 because I decided I needed it to be extra half a second. So that should be cool. Right, so 910 ticks, and then like two and a half seconds later, it places the block, and then it's cool, and then it's cool, and then it's cool. So that's 100, so this can be really be 120. We'll make it 140, just to make things easier. All right, so I'm gonna hit the button. This should run for a while. Like this for 900 right ticks, right? So 900 ticks is like 30 seconds, right? No, wait, nine, the, the, the. how many is 900 ticks? 600 ticks. Nine times five, 45 seconds. 35 seconds? Okay, that makes sense. 45. 45? Yeah. I know math. <laughs> you know math. It's fine. You're a I professional. <laughs> You're an expert. You can do I'm, anything. <laughs> I'm a professional at what I'm doing right now. So that ran too Could long. You... Okay. <laughs> So I did work that math wrong, didn't I? Because it can run 60 iterations, right? 60 times 10. Oh, I doubled it wrong. Oh, there. Are, so that needs to be not 60, um, not nine, not 900, 450, right? <laughs> math, please. So, can right. You draw those straight lines. Because it can run. So a full cycle is 600 ticks, right? Because it's 60 iterations over 10 ticks, right? So we're going to do it like. 450 ticks. I I keep converting between ticks and seconds in my head and it's like completely messing with me. So 450 ticks is how long we'll let it run here. And this will make 500 ticks. That should be cool. So let's see if this works. Yeah, I'm, I'm switching between seconds and minutes and ticks, and it's not a good way to do things. Next up hours. Yeah. 450 should be good because it's an odd number, so it should stop on the sideways pattern. Did you just say place. 450 is an odd number? It's an odd number of tens. Got it. That is half a Dandelion's worth of mana. That is super awesome. Nice. And can't you just take exactly the circuit we have, not even make another one, just yes. mirror this on the other side of the floor? On all four sides. On all four sides? Okay. I would think. I would worry that they collide since it's so close to the... I think that'll be okay. Okay. It should be fine. So we'll come back in a minute, guys. So also what I'm doing is I'm moving that mana pool and I'm setting up my guy a mana spreader and I probably There we go. Nice. Kind of want you to sit flat. You're cool. I would like a potency <laughs> lens. So now we're going to try and double this. All right, fire is potency. Yeah, that's what I want. 
So that'll be like a really fast mana spreader right now. What'd you do? I'm just moving stuff around. Oh, I didn't do anything. Did you crash? Maybe. Then I blame Soren. Can't get property enum name variant class Vasky Botanica API state enums pool variant. Oh yeah. What's that mean? Block air. Okay, so it tried to change air or count. Like, air is not inside the list of different types of pools. Essentially, there's okay. default, creative, diluted, and fabulous, but there's not air. Oh, neat. <laughs> Got it. Thank you, game. That's cool. Glad you let me know about the no air thing. Man, where would I be without you, game? So this should drain very quickly. Oh yeah, look how much faster that is. That's gonna be awesome. All right, I'm going to rebuild this over here. All right, Zoran, so I think I'm ready to give the next one a try. Oh yeah? Yeah, if you wanna watch. So hopefully this works. Ooh. Right? Dance. I command you. Dance for me, my pretties. Dance. Then at some point it pauses, and it'll place one in front. And then it'll run again, and it'll pause for another second once it gets into the right place after 10 lifetimes. And then it produces a nice. whole ton of mana. All of it. Yeah. I the didn't get there here, you may... quickly. What's that? You may just want an acceleration wand just to handle all the mana you get. It's... Well, I mean, I have the Gaia mana spreader. So, I mean, it, it actually does burn through the flowers mana pool very quickly. But how cool is that? That means you're not making enough then. <laughs> we're getting to the point where we're making enough. Trust me. So that's... So there's, there's 45 lifetimes that it runs for, and then 10. So really it could run for like a couple more lifetimes during this phase, and you'd probably get a marginally larger amount of mana, but I think we're cool. So the flower, does it only do a lateral plane or can it do 3D in a sense? I think it's only lateral. Dude, that actually almost fills up the flower. That's insane. Like, I don't think I can... I Like, I, I could build out to the other sides, but I don't think that the flower has enough internal storage to handle it. Speed on the flower. <laughs> well, no, because what what happens is the flower eats what's around it, and, like, it has its own internal buffer of mana. I don't think that... I don't think I can make it be any more efficient than it currently is. This is probably fine. It's a lot of set blocks right now, anyway. Yeah over the course of like four chunks. Right. So all I really need now is like a button press to actually start it. So that could be like, all right, so I got my button up here and then I Soren did a so thing. So you wanted to do a fun thing with this? Soren I decided to put a little lamp on side my circuit. Right. He was touching my right. circuits. <laughs> Follow me with this. I placed lamp, next circuit, lamp, next circuit, lamp, looked away, and it wasn't until you told me something that I looked back and the circuit was gone. Yeah, what I told you is the button stopped working. What did you do? And you're like, uh. I placed a lamp. I, that's that's all I did, Dr. Wolf. That, no all I did was place a lamp. I placed the lamp and it was fine until I looked away. It's Schrodinger. He got wireless working this build. It, it's really wireless. Fix it. I, okay. <laughs> Fix it. For now, Dial 20 signing off. It's time to wrap up the episode, <laughs> but this is totally working. We saw it working. Everything was good until Soren placed a lamp. 
This is why five. Super Circuit Maker, by the way, is still in beta testing because five lamps. Thank you. Five lamps, <laughs> and then it broke. I don't know why you had to play so many lamps. Leave the lamps alone. Those are all pulsars anyway. It's not indicative of what's being happening. It is. If you send a signal back, you can see if they're on and off. <sighs> I hate everything you do in touch. So, wrapping up point, but yes, we're getting large amounts of mana. I think we're like filling up the Dandelion. So I, there's no point in expanding the other two sides because we're getting crazy good amounts of mana from this. And it's super fun. So this was a good episode. I liked I liked doing all this. Yeah, beta testing is good. Yes, it is. Especially for such a complex mod, Amadornis. Beta testing is definitely just good. Just add me in the mix and just things go poof. Donnerwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. <laughs> Soren, fix it. And everybody else, take it easy. Yeah.